everyone, today's video is going to be an Ipsy unboxing. I'm really excited about this one because it is the October one and normally in October they always have like the cutest little Ipsy bags. If you've never heard of Ipsy or if you've never used Ipsy before, I definitely recommend checking out their site. Um, it's great for the beauty enthusiast who likes a lot of makeup or hair products, skin products, but you don't want to necessarily spend a whole lot of money or you don't have the time to really go shopping and uh, you know look around for things. Um, I know there's places like Sephora and Ulta and uh, you know just all these other beauty places that you can visit. Uh, but sometimes, you know, we just don't have a lot of time in our day to go do those things. And not only that, but, you know, a lot of the times you really have to spend a whole lot of money there. And as I've said before, I am a licensed cosmetologist, so I really like to use new products and incorporate new products um, with any customer that I have, or sorry, any client that I may have. Um, I definitely like to be able to to know what's new, what's in, all that stuff. Um, you know, and I've I've been using, or I've been a Ipsy subscriber since 2013, I want to say, and I did take a couple of months off from Ipsy because we were transitioning from leaving Japan to coming back to the United States, so I didn't want to be, I didn't want any of my Ipsy meals staying stuck in Japan. I wanted it all for me, so um, this is a good thing about Ipsy, too. If you decide that you don't want to do it the next month, you can put a hold on your Ipsy bag or, um, you know, just for as long as you want, and then you can choose when to come back, and I don't think there's a wait list anymore. In the beginning, there was a wait list, and it took, like, a very long time for me to get in. I think it was, like, three months before I actually got in, and that's a very long time to me because I'm impatient, so... <laughs> I definitely wanted to be in there right away. But um, yeah, you can always you know come back to Ipsy and stuff. It's only $10 a month. That's including shipping. Um, if you can spare $10 a month, I definitely recommend it. Um, like I've said before, not all of my bags have been my favorite. Um, I haven't loved every single thing that's in my bags, but I've always found something in my bag that I loved. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. It always comes in one of these cool little... Um, like hot pink bubble mailers. Sometimes they'll come in gold ones. I don't really know what the significance of the gold ones are, but I just know that Ipsy is known for these pink ones. So let's see what's going on. Ow, my ring got caught in this. Okay. So um, this bag, is there a thingy in here? Sometimes it'll come with the, uh, well, most of the time. There it is. It's in here. Ha. All right. So the Ipsy October 2017 bag is called Spellbound. The leaves have turned, the air is cooler, nightfall starts a little sooner each day. Everything feels enchanted, mysterious, and different. We're so bewitched by this eerie time of year and all the change it brings that we're embracing our own transformations too. Swing by Ipsy.com for ideas on an easy way to switch things up plus everything you need to know about your October glam picks. And then um, there's like a funny little quote with this one. This one says, in my defense, the moon was full and I was left unsupervised. <laughs> so any of my fellow moon, uh, moon children out there will know, you know, we always feel like we're being affected by the moon and it's so, so true. Like I, yeah, I'm an earth sign, Taurus. So, you know, I always feel like the moon always affects every single thing about me. Um, but this Ipsy bag is too cute. The little, um, whatchamaduzit, doohickey, <laughs> the little key thing is a bat. It's in the shape of a bat and it has Ipsy on both sides, I think. Yeah, it has Ipsy on both sides. It's in the shape of a bat and then just the bag itself is really pretty with this pretty little lace detail. Ignore my fingernails. I know I need a manicure. I'm so sorry about that. Um, hopefully I'll get some nail polish in here, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, this pretty little lace detail and then it's just um, black on the inside. And there's a glimpse of some of the stuff. So it's really pretty. It's a very faint lace detail, though. You really have to put it up in the light. But it's pretty. I really like the little bat thing. I love Halloween all year round. Growing up, um, the Adams family was my favorite family. They were my family goals. I aspired to be like Wednesday. And now I feel like I've become uh, Morticia. And my husband is my Gomez. So, except I can't speak French. So maybe I know like three things in French, but... Not enough. <laughs> All right, so the first thing um, that I'm going to go ahead and show you is this Bye Bye Pores Pressed Airbrush Silk Pressed Anti-Aging Finish Powder. Say that 10 times fast. This is from It Cosmetics, and um, this is supposed to make your pores disappear. Um, there's, I don't see like a 
like a color number or anything like that in here. I think it's just one. I think it's just a one size fits all. If I could just open it. Oh God, nope. <laughs> the little uh, sponge applicator came off. Um, but I guess it's supposed to fit in that little hole. And then that's what the actual product looks like. So not too bad. Um, obviously I, I haven't tried it, so I don't know what it's like, but if the model shows us anything, apparently we're supposed to look all nice and pretty airbrushed and finished. Um, this is definitely great for uh, people who are going to have professional headshots done. Any kind of flash photography, this would be great for. You just have to be very careful uh, using this kind of stuff with flash photography because if you put on too much of a certain type or if you don't get the correct one that works with flash photography, you'll just see nothing but streaks underneath. So you just have to be careful. Um, this is supposed to be airbrushing powder, blurs and perfections for a flawless finish, anti-aging with silk, collagen, and antioxidants, um, universal translucent shade for all skin tones. So this is for all skin tones and it can be worn on bare skin or uh, with makeup for a finishing touch. So I'm probably going to give it a try um, with bare skin because I know that um, my face in the summer actually gets super oily. So a lot of these finishing powders really help keep that oil and shine away. Um, I still have like a little bit of oiliness and shininess and stuff. And then in the winter, I can't wear stuff like this because my face gets dry. So I really hate that. But this will come in really, really handy later on. Um, or maybe right now, even while the weather is still kind of like trying to figure out what it wants to do with its life. <laughs> so um, that's my first one. That's pretty awesome. Um, the next one is a Skin Volve. Um, it's a peppermint, I guess, scrub. Yeah, it's a peppermint scrub. Shed tired and dull skin and rise like the phoenix um, with a coffee scrub. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's a coffee scrub and it's supposed to target cellulite, stretch marks, eczema, acne, and more. Um, so the ingredients are coffee, robusta seed powder, sodium chloride, uh, peppermint oil, they use the fancy terminology for that one, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, aqua, sucrose, can't say that one, vitamin E, <laughs> and menthol. So um, yeah, um, there is, this is cruelty free, and it does have an expiration date of January, no, sorry, June 2020, so it feels like it's really thick. It's it's a pretty thick packaging. I'm not going to open it right now because I'm not going to be able to use it. Um, I don't necessarily use face scrubs like this um, just because I, <laughs> it's, I have very sensitive skin too. So certain scrubs like just irritate my face and they do more harm than good for me. So um, I will probably give this to my friend who um, she's been uh, dealing with some red skin lately so I'm gonna go ahead and give this to her so that she can go ahead and give it a try and see if this actually helps you know calm that down a little bit it feels like there's a good amount in here so we'll see about that and the good thing about it is it's only ten dollars for this entire bag so if you find something in here that you personally wouldn't use but you know like your friends or your mom or somebody will use you can easily give this away and you don't really lose out on any kind of money so um, so far two sample sizes um, and then this is the last sample size that um, I received in the thing. And it's Peach Hand Cream by Tony Molly. Um, oh boy. And it's 10 milliliters or 0.35 fluid ounces. And it says take an appropriate amount and evenly apply on the hands after washing them clean or whenever skin feels dry, which is going to be great for um, this winter because I can already tell by the way the weather is going it's gonna get pretty bad <laughs> and especially over here um, I live close by the water so yes it's gonna be fantastic oh my gosh I hate having to open these things it smells I don't know I can't really smell anything it smells like plastic <laughs> oh yeah that's good that's good that's a good amount that's a fair size that squeezes out let's see so I can tell right now, it definitely is, my hands are definitely soaking this up. My hands are dry already. Great. <laughs> but, oh, it's very peachy. Oh, it's so good. It smells like um, something from Bath and Body Works, and I can't remember the name of it, but I used to wear it uh, when I was uh, when I was in high school, middle school, junior high. Mm, one of those grades. I used to love it. Oh, it's so, so, so good. 
Um, yeah, so water is the first ingredient, glycerin, mineral oil, and then you've got all sorts of flower extracts and root extracts, all sorts of fantastic things going on in here. Um, so yeah, this is the little sample size of it. It smells really good and it feels really good on my hands. It feels soft. It doesn't make my hands feel oily or greasy. It feels soft. I love it. So those are the three sample sizes that I've received in my Ipsy bag. Um, I have two full sizes now to show you. And um, the first one is the Dermalect Cosmeticals <laughs> Peptide Infused Nail Lacquer. So peptide infused, um, and this is 11 milliliters. And it's the first peptide infused color treatment lacquer, superior extended wear, high gloss, chip resistant, water and detergent resistant, UV protected. And it tells you here to apply two coats and for best results, use their products, obviously on top of each other. So, oh, and cool, Ipsters get 20% off. Use code IPSY20 at checkout and you go to Dermalect, Dermalect.com. So there's a free 20% off for you if you aren't an Ipsy subscriber. There you go, 20% off. So use Ipsy20. All right, so, ooh, this is pretty. It's definitely not a color I would wear at all. I would not wear this color. Um, I do not do pastel colors whatsoever, um, but I definitely think this would be a good, um, like a almost base coat type of color and my hands have lotion on it. <laughs> so or either this is difficult to open or my hands are just not, no, no, this is, oh my gosh, this is difficult to open. So I'm on, I'm on struggle, like the struggle bus right now. Um, this isn't gonna open at all. I'm gonna, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. So you can tell that I have not opened this beforehand because I don't know what is going on here. I shouldn't have put lotion on my hand. But anyways, so it's, it's a little too pink for my taste. I'm probably not going to use this. I'll probably give it to my daughter because she's really into nail polishes. And hey, if this is good for her nails, why not? So um, it is. it seems like a good product. Um, peptide infused nail lacquer. I'll have to read more into that because I have no idea what is going on here with it. But um, yeah, it looks, <laughs> if it's supposed to help your nails, you know, it'll definitely um, be good. It doesn't say anything about it being animal cruelty or animal cruelty free. So that's probably not a good thing. Um, but the name of it is What a Gem. So it's a little, it's a little too pink for my taste. I like the darker colors. All right, so the last thing that I received, and this looks like it's gonna be a full-size product. It's wrapped in bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite. Oh, such a stress relief, that one. Okay, that was unintentional. I'm having a hard time opening this up. What's going on here? There we go, all right. So this is Essence Satin Touch Blush, and it is five grams, um, 0.17 ounces. And this is pretty and it's in the color Satin Love. And it's Satin Soft Blush for a fresh looking complexion all day long. And then it's written in different languages the same way. Oh gosh, it's got all sorts of stuff in there, doesn't it? But this is a gorgeous color. So, so pretty and the design is really nice. So, oh wow, that feels great. Oh my goodness. That is a nice feel to it, the little ridges on the fingers, real pretty. I'm not gonna put it on my face, but yeah, it's a nice, that's a nice blush right there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if there's too many shadows going on. Really need to get it together. <laughs> but yeah, that's a nice blush, real pretty. So the name of it is Satin Love in the number 20. So this is another full size product. Definitely keeping that one. So I received in my Ipsy bag, um, five items, three of which were sample sizes and two full-size products. So that's not bad. And I'm pretty sure these alone are worth more than $10 a piece. And then, you know, of course they're samples. They're not for resale, but these are amazing. Um, so yeah, I, I, I really loved it. Um, I would have to say the winner in my book is definitely the blush. I can never have enough blushes. I always like to, you know, based on my mood or the time of year, I definitely like to try out different blushes. So this is really, really perfect. I really wish that this could have been in a darker color, but I'm not gonna complain. I'll just um, 
I'll, I'll like write it in the ipsy thing and say, you know, I don't really like lighter colors and see if they give me something darker next time. And that's the perfect thing about ipsy is you can tell them like it wasn't necessarily my jam. I didn't like it too much because it was too dark or it was too oily or you can rate the product and they'll, either, they'll stop sending you products like this or colors like this or whatever just based on, you know, your, your likes and your dislikes. And um, it's fantastic because I have not received a mascara in the past two Ipsy bags, which I used to get mascaras all the time. So I'm feeling like they're they're finally listening to me. <laughs> like they're uh, we're branching out with different products. I'm so excited about this. So um, yeah, and uh, the the peppermint scrub, the little coffee peppermint scrub thing. I'm definitely gonna gift to my friend. Um, and then you know the Bye Bye Pores pressed powder. We'll see how that one works. But I can definitely tell I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this beautiful satin. Um, blush. So I hope you liked today's haul. I hope that your Ipsy bag, if you've received one, was absolutely fantastic and that you were able to get whatever you uh, were hoping for. Um, I did go in and see what I was going to get beforehand and see the things that I could have gotten, but um, you know, I'm really excited for my bag. I really like uh, whatever everything that came in it. Um, you know, some of it is not for me. Like I said, I'm probably going to give the nail polish to my daughter. But, you know, I was pleasantly surprised with the bag. That it was it was a really good uh, bag this month. It was a cute bag. So um, I hope you guys have a great rest of October. And, um, yeah, let me know if uh, you subscribe to Ipsy and tell me what your favorite product for this month was. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.